Time to make our way down to the southern shrine and see what the old guy has to say there. Beasts are definitely a little bit stronger around here, so I'm going to have to heal quite a bit. Probably do a little bit of escapes, all that kind of stuff, until we get a bit of a level up. Dreaded Chimera. I'm probably not going to succeed in this battle, so chances are I'll be running away, but let's give it a crack anyway. Alright, time to get a bit of experience and gold, get some better equipment, get some level ups. Um, the princess is not going to rescue herself, so got to get strong enough to do it. Gold man, here's where we get the money. So, beating a few of these guys, we'll have our equipment upgraded in no time.
Alright, now that we get the steel sword, or broadsword in the original version, we can now do some real damage to our opponents, and that should really speed up this grind and help us as we need to defeat the boss that's guarding the princess. Just sell off a bit of junk that we're carrying around so we can have some more inventory space and then on our way. almost forgot to use my um, HP seed, which seems to say life's drink. I, I'm a bit of a loss on this one. That's the closest I could come up with, but uh, nonetheless, a little bit of extra max HP, I'm in. Alright, level 12. That is the recommended level for being able to successfully rescue the princess, so that's good news. Um, maybe just save up a little bit more to get the magic armor, and then we should be done with this bit. Um, level 12 also came with the outside spell, so we can escape dungeons, and we do not feel like trudging our way out, so nice deal there.
Alright, well, the magic armor is very expensive, but according to this, it's not going to give me any defensive advantage. I'm not sure if that's because the algorithm doesn't understand the defense seeds or whatever, but I think I'm just going to hold on to this gold, hopefully not die and lose half of it, so I can just clean out Cantlin a lot more easily. That might be the way to go here. Looks like somebody's living kind of lavishly with that nice fancy carpet behind the cave. So maybe we'll see what's behind this locked door that we saw previously and um, see what this uh, woman that seems to be living in there is doing and what this scary green dragon intends for us. So this is definitely the first thing that I would call a boss battle in this game so far. Dragon Quest isn't really uh, one to follow that pattern where there's just a default boss after every level where you collect your items and all that, so it's kind of interesting from that perspective. But in this case, this guy is a bit of a slog, gotta wear him down and heal a lot so I don't die, watch out for his flame breath, all that good stuff. So um, let's just take him down and see what happens.
and level 13 with a nice big experience boost. So get our extra stats. And now I think we're going to actually get, yes, the return spell. So we can now return back to Tanagel at any time, right at home. So we no longer have to worry about getting stranded out in the wilderness, too weak and injured to make our way back home. And now our damsel in distress does appear to in fact be Princess Laura. So let's, uh, I guess, see what she has to say and then get her back to her loving father and hopefully get some kind of nice reward and so do it. And Princess Laura apparently does not like to walk, so we're going to carry her back to the castle. 